It was a summer of nightmares. The Taliban back in charge, those living there desperate to get out. The UK government tried to evacuate Britons and Afghans who'd worked alongside them. It was chaos. Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. I'm gonna share a video with you guys right now that is probably going to drive you insane. It, I would bet that it probably will make you more angry than anything I have ever, ever put on this channel before. Probably anything I will put on this channel for a very, very long time to come. But I think it's really, really important that you watch it. I think it's very, very important that we understand what our government's catastrophic surrender in Afghanistan is still costing, literally costing, our troops. But before I get into it, guys, thank you so much to everyone that's been subscribing and leaving such great comments. We're building a great community, guys, and I really am thankful for you. Happy Thanksgiving. And if you haven't already, guys, join us. Help us to continue to grow and get our message out there. Like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, share the channel. So I'm going to share one soldier's story that sounds like it's not that rare when I start digging into it. So please, guys, watch this to the very, very end. Uh, watch to the very end of what this young man has to say. It's not very long and it gets very, very good. His story deserves to be heard. What our government put our brave men and women in uniform through in our disastrous withdrawal, our surrender, and honestly what they're continuing to put them through to this day, we can't overlook it. We cannot forgive it and we cannot let them not answer for it. Guys, take a look at this. I want to share something with you guys today. I want to holler, I want to scream, I want to yell, but it won't do any good. Um, today is gear turn in day for me. I turn in all the gear that I've collected over the last four years of being active duty with the Army, with the 82nd Airborne Division. Two years ago, my unit deployed to Afghanistan for the Afghanistan withdrawal. We spent a few weeks over there. It was hectic, it was chaotic, it was disgusting, and it made me very disappointed in our government. Today, I'm reminded of how disappointed I am in our government. Go to turn in my gear. They want to charge me $500 to $1,000 for gear that I was ordered to leave in Afghanistan two years ago. Because as the last two birds were sitting on the tarmac, ready to leave... There wasn't any room for extra gear or extra weight. Therefore, we were told to leave it. Some lower enlisted dudes, including myself, were like, no, this stuff is expensive. I'm not leaving this. I'm going to get charged for this when it comes time to leave. Don't worry. We're going to catch you on the back end. You know, we'll flip it. No. It's time to get out of the army, and they just want to charge you for, for that. Meanwhile... We can continue to give millions of dollars to the Taliban. We can give billions of dollars to Ukraine. We can give billions of dollars to student debt relief. We can give a bunch of stupid stimulus checks. We can cut those to the American people. But we can't cover 500 to to $1,000 for a dude that left gear in Afghanistan. For a dude that left gear in a place that you put me to begin with. The government is so stinking backwards right now, man. This administration's last priority is the American people. And, and inside of the American people, their last priority is their soldiers, their Marines, their airmen, their, their, their Navy. It's so messed up, man. I thought today was going to be bittersweet getting out. But I'm just so happy to separate. I'm very, very excited to stop serving my government and just getting started serving my country. It's sad. Today is November 20th. This is the amount they want to hit me with leaving service, $3,561. I'm not asking for help, but if you wanted to help, I would greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, so you guys see that, you know, I don't even quite know what to think about that, but you know, I at least hear that our federal, I hear our federal government's message. Oh, three, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, guys, so you see that. I don't even quite know what to think about that, but I hear, I hear our federal government's message. I hear it loud 
and clear. And what they're telling you and what they're telling me and what and worst of all, what they're telling these young service members is that they do not care. They truly do not care. And they, without a doubt, do not respect them. You know, these young people put their lives, their bodies, their minds, their souls, everything on the line, basically at the whims of some powerful morons in our government. And they do it for us, okay? And this is how they are treated. And, and this kid, man, you know, what message does it send, right? He was part of the worst, disastrous, most embarrassing surrender in American military history, forced to leave his gear behind because there was no room on the airplanes. They were too stuffed with unvetted, undocumented, untested Afghan locals who, in their defense, guys, in their defense, nothing against them. They were literally fleeing for their lives because they knew what the U.S. leaving was going to do. They knew what they were leaving behind. And to this young man's point, our government spared no expense there and spares no expense when sending billions and billions and billions of dollars to every single corner of the world. And they want to turn around and charge him $3,000 for gear that they ordered him to leave behind during a surrender. This is just one last big F you on his way out the door. You know, we can support the entire world and welcome the entire world to our front doorstep at the same time that we charge a military service member departing after his brave service that we never even paid enough in the first place. We're going to charge him to replace gear that we made him leave behind. That is freaking shameful. There's so many words that I just can't even come up with right now, but it is shameful. You know, it's so shameful that I really don't know what to say about it, guys, like I said. But, you know, I do know that this cannot stand. You know, we have got to get this story out to as many people as possible. Please, please share this video. This has got to be talked about because this is not acceptable. You know, Joe Biden is out having photo ops, feeding turkey and mashed potatoes to troops, making commercials out of it while he robs them on their way out the door. Unbelievable. I mean, that's just exactly what you'd expect from administration and government like this. But that's just my take, guys. I figured you absolutely deserve to see this. Let me know you're taking the comments, guys. And if you haven't already, please, please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. We'll see you in the next one.